everyone. Just had a thought that occurred to me um, after some questions that we had in my office today of, you've heard the old adage that just because you can doesn't mean you should. And that applies in a lot of aspects of our life. And it's critical when working with buyers. And here are three reasons why just because you can doesn't mean you should. Number one is working with a buyer who's not pre-qualified. So one, basically, if you don't value your time, then go ahead and work with buyers that are pre not pre-qualified because it's really unfair for you to not know what the buyers want, not know what price range they really can afford. And it's more importantly, unfair to the sellers that you're showing those homes to or homes for because, you know, every seller thinks that the buyer coming through the front door may be that next buyer. And if you have a buyer that really can't afford that price range or, or even has the credit, the capability and the income or the, or the assets needed to perform a closing, then you're really kind of, you know, being unfair to the sellers out there that have their homes on the market. Number two, you really can, but you sh why would you show a buyer 20, 30, 40, 50 homes at all because really what that show unless they're actually an out-of-town buyer because you know an out-of-town buyer they need to learn areas they need to learn that the housing type because every market's different but if you're working with a local buyer that is motivated and ready to buy it really shows your lack of competency if you're out throwing or showing you know 20 30 40 50 homes and or it shows at the same time the buyer's lack of motivation and I'm sure you have better things to do than be out showing a buyer, you know, 50 homes when you could be, you know, spending time with your kids or prospecting for a new buyer that's ready to buy now. And it really does show the buyer or it starts to get the buyer to have lack of confidence in you. Because if you're really listening to what a buyer wants and they're pre-qualified, then you absolutely should have to show them no more than 10 homes. And if you start to show a buyer more than seven to 10, maybe 12 properties, they're gonna start losing confidence in you. So it's really important to meet with that buyer up front, decide what they want in the beginning. And then if they haven't found a home within the first week or two, after you're showing them everything they say they want, then you need to have a reconnection meeting with them to figure out if their criteria has changed. Do you know what I mean? Because I promise you, no, no matter what will happen, they will lose faith in you and they will go find another agent. And that brings me to my last point, my last, you know, uh, point is that why would you ever, you can, but why would you ever work with a buyer without getting a buyer brokerage agreement signed? You know, I don't know an agent out there or a listing agent or even you perhaps that would take a listing contract, market it, advertise it, and try to sell it without an exclusive right to sell. Why would you spend your time, your energy, your money, your gas, all of that stuff without having a buyer commit to you? So if you're not, if the buyer's not willing to commit to you and you, you can't show the buyer enough value as to why they should commit to you, then really you might want to reconsider, you know, your, your choice of professions because, you know, we have an exclusive right to represent for a reason. And I can tell you after 30 years of the business in the beginning, obviously we didn't even have those and we didn't use them. And I would show a buyer for six months cause I didn't know what I know now. And you know, for them to go find an open house on a Sunday or them to go find a for sale by owner or something like that. So respect your time, respect your value. And if you pre-qualify the buyers, if you set the expectations up front as to how many homes that you should be showing them, and then if you actually do make them commit to you and can, and can live up to what you say you're gonna do, then you should have absolutely no reason and you can make a lot of money helping buyers find that perfect home and save yourself a lot of time. So I hope this is helpful. Just remember, just because you can, doesn't mean you should. Have a great day. Until next tip, take care. Bye-bye.